Hi YouTube, how are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome to the Ghost Watchers Beginner's Guide. So I've been playing this game since yesterday and this is going to be very, very basic because obviously I haven't had a lot of time to test the game and to find out all the little details, but this is the method I've had success with. So if you're struggling to figure out what the equipment does, get it to work. If you're struggling to survive when the ghost attacks you, if you're struggling to even figure out how to capture the ghost, this is going to be the video for you because this is the most simple way to do it, in my opinion, at this point. And we're going to learn more and this is going to evolve over time for sure. So if you know something that I don't or something that I missed in this video, please put it in the comments so that other viewers can uh, go down there and use it as a little like mini encyclopedia of knowledge of this game that people have experienced. That'd be great. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'm live over there six days a week with content just like this. I'll be streaming more Ghost Watchers for sure in the future. And I play a ton of Phasmophobia, all that kind of stuff so i'd love to see you meet you over there that'd be amazing now let's get the video started here we go okay so here we are on the house map there's three maps in this game but uh we're gonna choose the house for today and uh so first thing we, we see here is on this chart catch a ghost question mark for the money curse toy measure the temperature of a ghost use the danger detector which we don't have by default you would have to buy that from right here which is another cool feature you can actually shop during the hunt if you need something extra uh, dodge the attack of the ghost by jesus statue three times if you haven't been able to dodge a ghost yet and you constantly die i'll show you how that works in this match uh let's check out the journal so a couple differences between this and phasmophobia first of all the the objectives there that's where you're gonna make most of your money on those little bonus objectives now the evidence on the left here this isn't like Phasmo where you get three things and then you figure out what the ghost is. You will get an answer for every piece of equipment, every match. Even if the answer means unresponsive for something, you have to put that in because this is phase one. There's three phases of each match. Phase one is getting all this data here, getting all your equipment uh, filled in, and it's going to leave you with options over here for ghost type, ghost age, and ghost mood. Once you have one of each selected, then you'll be able to move on to phase two, which is weakening the ghost. So weakening the ghost means uh, doing this right here. So we have these steps based on what three things you put in there. There's a formula, open all doors, bring voodoo, salt, incense, and those, the salt and the incense, You well, the salt you would have to throw, the incense works just like the Jesus statue. I'll have to show you uh, how all that works. If that's even our setup, I just put it in three random things, but you would have to do all this in that order. And then when it's time to catch the ghost, you take this ball. The ghost will be running around the house at that point. If you've done everything correctly and in that order, and you throw the ball at the ghost. And when it hits the ghost, it's like a pokey, pokey ghost, Pokemon ghost. You capture it and good to go. And everyone's happy and excited. But let's go in there and I'm gonna show you, uh, mechanically this game's a lot different than Phasma because there's not really a ghost room. So let's take some equipment in. There's not really a ghost room. The ghost is pretty much constantly wandering. So you can test your luck in pursuit. We got EMF2 right off the bat. EMF2 right off the bat. Oh my goodness. You can test your luck and try and push the ghost with that stuff, but that's kind of dangerous in my opinion, at least at this point until I know more about the game. Um, but we'll be doing some testing for sure on different methods. But you can just drop your stuff in here out on the floor. You don't have to really be holding it. I mean, it's more convenient for like the thermometer to do that. I'm gonna turn the lights on. You can turn lights on. There's not a breaker. The lights can individually break though. And be disabled that way. And it seems like some ghosts like to do that more than others. Each ghost in this game has its own model for that ghost. Hey, we just got the thermometer to go off. Because it's sitting there on the floor. See how cool that is? Because the ghost is constantly wandering. But yeah, so you have an encyclopedia here that you can use if you're not sure what equipment you're looking for visually. You know, it asks for you to use the the danger detector. Well, what is that? You click on that and it's a quick little description and show you a picture of what it looks like. Uh, so you can see if you have it in the truck or not, if you're not sure. Also, the ghosts all have their own little, dis um, their own little descriptions. So we got ghost moods, uh, four types of moods, calm, anxious, aggressive, and hunting. Ghosts in different moods have different activity and aggressiveness. The voodoo doll and walkie-talkie will help determine the mood of the ghost. Ghost age, uh, four types, young, middle, older, ancient. Usually the older the ghost, the more cutting and dangerous it is. To determine the age, use particle counter on Ouija board and phases. Uh, while on the location, you can say a few fa uh, phrases to the ghost. Use them wisely. Some can lead to terrible consequences. Uh, ghost, can you talk? Ghost, give us a sign. 
We are friends. I am friendly. Uh, we will catch you. I catch you. Ghost, tell about yourself. A uh, ghost, show yourself. A uh, ghost, take a voodoo doll. So we have limited things we can say to the ghost, but we can say things to the ghost. I believe you have to use V when you do that. I'm pretty sure. Let's go in here. Let's take this. Let's take a voodoo doll. What else? Maybe another. Let's take. Oh yeah, you always want one of these three safety items. We have crucifix, uh, Christ statue, and incense. Um, they all have three rope strands on them. When you use one and avoid death and dodge the ghost with one, effectively, one of the rope strings goes away. So you have three uses with each of these. And basically, to use it, you just want it in your hand when the ghost is trying to kill you. You don't have to throw it. You don't have to press a button to activate it. It's just in your hand. Let's drop voodoo here. I wonder what our attempts went down to. Also, if you happen to stumble upon the mirror, uh, you can use it to see the ghost's current location. So far, we had an EMF 2 right when I walked in. Oh, particle counter is at 100 to 500. We got evidence there. So we type that in. Particle counter, 100 to 500. Now, be patient. Be patient. Um, if you're trying to get out alive, you don't have to push the ghost and do anything too crazy. It will come through here enough times to give you evidence, for sure. Ghost, can you talk? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's getting colder. We're down to... <laughs> uh, about zero degrees we hit. Ghost came through when I said that. So, the thermometer, I'm going to put uh, negative five to five. I also didn't see any footprints. Ooh. Getting drunk? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh my god, that's loud. I'm not sure what the significance of that happening is, but I feel like it kicks things up a notch each time it happens. The max times I've had it happen is three so far. If you know more anything about that, um, please put it in the comments. I would like as much information in the comments from different players and their experience so far and things that they've learned so that uh, viewers can kind of cycle through there and learn as well. Oh, things are happening here. I also don't know what that means. A little ghost event where it picks everything up. I think it's just supposed to be a cool thing. I don't think it has any actual functional significance. But I'm not sure. I may be wrong. Ghost, can you talk? Uh oh. Ghost, can you talk? That's crying. So on the radio, we're gonna put crying. EMF, if we put, I'm not sure what the EMF is at this point. Ghost, can you talk? Let's check some more things we can say. I am friendly. EMF two, EMF three. I am friendly. I am friendly. We have as high as a three. We will catch you. We will catch you. Okay, so I think it's I think it's three safe bet, I think so. Oh, we got something going on. Oh, we got Ouija board. Side to side. When you hear that noise, that means the Ouija board is doing something. I'm pretty sure that if you hear that noise and then the Ouija board does nothing, that means you put in, did, did not interact as your evidence. That's side to side though. So side to side evidence doesn't interact, uh, moves from side to side and moves randomly is the other option. So we have moves from side to side. It's average ghost age. What's the average ghost age? We will catch you. Okay, so we're looking for footprints still. Looking for the voodoo doll to move. It's either going to get thrown, raised, or nothing's going to happen. Ghost, can you talk? We will catch you. Ooh. It said die. 
Run. That means you're gonna die. So when this happens and you're inside the house, you wanna put your protective item in your hand. For sure. EMF two, is that EMF three? EMF two, okay. Come on, ghosty. Ghost, tell about yourself. Ghost, tell about yourself. I don't think this ghost... I don't think this ghost leaves a trace of footprints. I don't think. So maybe I got the temperature. I got something wrong here. It's very important we get something right. Um... I had an EMF three, I swear. I swear I had an EMF three. Ghost, can you talk? Oh! Alright, that got me. That got me good. That's EMF three. Maybe the temp's wrong? I'm getting drunk. I'm getting drunk. I may have the wrong temperature. It's very important that you get the right thing. Check multiple times if you're unsure, because you need the right. Negative 14? Okay, we had a negative 14, that's significant. So, it's the gallows, and the gall it is the gallows. So we saw the ghost model. As I was saying, the ghost model is tied to the ghost type. So we have the gallows. You can actually see what it looks like. There we go, we have the gallows. That was frightening. And, uh, Get out, get out of the house if you can when this happens. Or have your crucifix, your Christ, or your incense ready. Let's see. Yeah, no, no trace of footprints. Let's just confirm that. Okay, that's consistent with the gallows. Just to fill that in. You want to get in the habit of filling all that in. Even though technically right there we didn't even have to because we knew the only option was doesn't leave traces. You can kind of uh, do process of elimination. Particle counter. The only thing we're waiting on is voodoo doll. If it doesn't interact, it's concerned. I don't think it interacts with the voodoo doll. We would know by now. I think. I mean, we don't know, no, but... In my experience, the voodoo doll would have been moved around by now. So let's go ahead and assume that it doesn't interact with the voodoo doll. Let's see if we get burned here on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Now let's click on weakening the ghost. Light three candles on location, holy water, fire, salt, incense. So light three candles on location. Now, if, if, it, if we're wrong about the voodoo doll, uh, and we light these three candles, bad things may happen. We may just blow the whole mission. So you gotta be, you wanna be pretty sure. Up the incense here. I think what I'm gonna do is bring this in. I'll bring this in. Flash the ghost uh, during our expedition here. Also, it's got a flashlight. Get a little bit of protection going. Candle, 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 not there. There's gotta be one in the living room, right? Are we getting kind of chased? Gotta be ready.
Okay, so we broke. I think we got a break line of sight. I think that's the way. I, I think you'll be okay as long as you break line of sight in that situation when the ghost is about to kill you. It's kind of what it seems like. Okay, we weaken the ghost. Run. So, when you do the the correct weakening there, you will get that alert on this difficulty. I believe you'll just get the sound on the higher difficulties. So now we need to throw holy water at it. Now these incense, just so you know, the incense and the crucifix works the same way as the Christ statue. You just hold it in your hand. If I haven't said that yet. So holy water. Where's the holy... Uh, is this holy water? Let's just double check. Let's just double check holy water. Holy water. Yeah, that's it. We gotta throw it at the ghosty. I'm gonna bring this out here so that the ghost can actually get in here and get close. Alright, ghost. We gotta hit it with the holy water. With the holy water. Well, where are you, ghosty? Oh, I missed. Oh no. Break line of sight. Break line of sight. It's a good thing as we can buy some more holy water here. You want to be more patient than that if you don't have money to buy stuff, for sure. Well, let's, let's go back and see. Um, so, the Voodoo doll. We'll say calm. It'll be the same. Largely the same. Fire, salt, incense. Yeah, so we still need to do holy water here. Okay. Ghost needs to manifest. So we threw the holy water at the ghost. We got it. That was suspenseful. Now fire salt, which is going to be right here. Now we got to throw the fire salt. And then we got to do incense. And then we can finally catch the ghost. Here we go. Oh, yeah, let's go. So when you see it moving like that, you actually can. You actually can. Um, still throw it as long as you see where it was going and aim it properly incense okay now we just want to try and die basically with these and just keep them in our hand one ghost get me i'm gonna catch you ghost can you talk ghost can you talk ghost can you talk Ghost, can you talk? Ghost, can you talk? Incense, come on. We will catch you. Okay, here we go, here we go, we want this. You want to let it get into this kill phase here so you can use the incense. Just let it happen. That's terrifying. Now here we go. Poof. You weaken the ghost. Now we have to now we have to get our, our catcher, our Pokeball. 
That is the last step. Now we just catch the ghost. You gotta throw this ball at the ghost. You gotta hit the ghost. There we go. The ghost captured. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. $310. 225 coins, 280 XP. There we go. So that is a basic beginner's guide of how to play. It's very basic. Like I said, I don't have all the details on this game, and I'm still learning every time I play. But I figured I'd get this out there because I see a lot of people uh, asking in different places how to do certain things in this game, how to play, how to survive, how to actually capture the ghost. So there you go. Hopefully this video helps. If it did, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications. And hopefully I see you over there on Twitch. Love you all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.